right, here we go with 215 pounds, Division One state final. We have Kyle Rose from Centerville wearing the black single and Nick Tavanello from Wadsworth, your top ranked 215 pounder in Ohio. This is huge in the team title. With Wadsworth falling away 89, they still need one of their remaining two state finalists to win, which will give them a half point lead over St. Ed's and break the St. Ed's dynasty streak. Tavanello is just a sophomore. I'd say along with Brooks Black of Blair Academy, is one of the premier heavyweight, re he up to these upper weight wrestlers that are, that are underclassmen. You never see sophomores in finals at 215, especially in the biggest division. But Tavanello is an impressive one. Rose, no slouch himself, wrestled what I thought was the semifinal of the night last night. Rose is a junior, also a standout football player, has a scholarship offer from Cincinnati. He was in a BCS Bowl. It's here and Rose right away shoots a single and leads to nothing. We said Rose, really, really good athlete, also a incredibly tall heavyweight. Probably stands about 6'4", 6'5". And you've got to think if football doesn't work out, he could have a great career as a college wrestler. He said good athlete, huge frame, could really fill out it to fill out as a heavyweight. But right now that Right now, the goal is to become Centerville's second state champion of the night. Nick Miller just won a classic, also over a Wadsworth wrestler at 189. Now Tavanello up and escapes, and it is two to one. Kyle Rose. Tavanello now in on a shot, trying to dump. Rose has such a length advantage. Rose now. You see, Rose probably is about three, four inches taller than Tavanello. And you saw that where that advantage comes in right there, really stretching out, creating leverage so Tavanello had nowhere to go after that shot. We're a minute into the first period of an action-packed 215-pound weight class. Don't say that much. And it's two to one, Kyle Rose of the Centerville Elks, which is a great, great nickname. I'm guessing there aren't too many Elks around the country. Tavanello kind of a half shot. A Rose with collar tie and wrist control. 35 seconds to go in the first, has a 2-1 lead. Said Tavanello just tries a jackhammer, double, nothing. We go out of bounds. There is a lot, and I think Rose is bleeding, so we're gonna have quick blood time. If, Tav if Rose can, can win this, and obviously it's still early, then all, all, all of the pressure comes down to Ben Bazzelli at heavyweight. I think that's the last thing Eds wants, is to have a win or die situation at heavy. And I think after, after Eds won both head to, or sorry, Wadsworth won both head to head matches, including a fall. I think we all thought the team title was locked up. But the fall by Solzer was big, and then the mounting pressure here in the upper weights. We'll see how they handle it. Obviously, this isn't Wadsworth's first trip around the block. They were tight last year. I think all the wrestlers have said that, you know, coming so close last year has been a growing experience. It gives them a mental edge this year as they know what it's like to be close. But I, their goals are set higher. If you're gonna, if you're, and if you're gonna, we end of the first period, two to one. Kyle Rose of Centerville, who defers to the second choice, deals with Nick Tavanello of Wadsworth, who will go under, try and tie this thing up at two. As you can see, Wadsworth, gigantic frame of two feet, also is very, very good from top. Had a minute 30 second ride in his third period in the third period yesterday. And that's something I've seen through this tournament that. It, I don't think you can say you've seen too many else's big men that can ride between Rose and Gladstone took third at heavyweight. You got there's the escape. Oh, Rose bangs his head hard on the mat. You've seen a couple heavyweights who aren't just takedown specialists, but can really create scoring opportunities from the mat. Oh, as I speak all about that riding ability from Rose, Tavanell is out in 20 seconds. Rose takes a shot from kind of far out. Tavanello gets a single, cuts it to a double, and there's your two. Nick Tavanello now goes ahead for two. 
He said Tavanell just a sophomore. And to win a state title as a sophomore, 215 pounds, is pretty incredible. Tavanell's got that forearm trapped, riding kind of cross body. Now looks to grab the nearest and suck it in and under Rose. Can't, can't create anything from it. And now 53 seconds left. Nick Tavanell of Wadsworth leads, and if he is if he is to win, it will be a team title for Wadsworth. They trail by three and a half. They'll get four placement points for the for the victory. Rose takes another shot from kind of far out, nothing doing. The wrestlers circle out of bounds. 38 seconds to go. Tavanell leads for three. Tavanella works on the head, tries to pull down Rose. Goes to pick the ankle, nothing doing. Now Tavanell is in short offense. Rose tries to shoot through hooks and gets to a leg. If he can suck that in. No two yet, no two yet. Out of bounds, nothing. And Rose pounds the mat in frustration. His coach is saying, keep your cool. He still has two minutes and 19 seconds left. 19 here in this period. But that's about as good an opportunity as any as he's gonna have to score. There's now 10 ticks to go. Referee asks for action, although we've had a bunch so far. One second and we'll get to go to the third. And Kyle Rose goes underneath. If he can escape, we're gonna be all tied up. And as we've had so much tonight, it's gonna to come to one takedown in the third period, which frankly is the way state titles should be decided. Rose, nothing really off the whistle. And Tavnello trying to milk clock, he'll cut him. And now, one minute and 50 seconds, and you'll have a 215 pound state champion. And if, and if Tavnello wins, you'll have your team champion crowned as well. And you've gotta wonder if that pressure's creeping up, not just the pressure to win your own match. Who? Flurry of action as they circle out of bounds. Rose has got to watch taking these shots from so far out. I know he's got a height advantage, but certainly his first first takedown he gave up was a result of thinking too much of that height advantage. You'd like, if you're Senator Bill's coaches, you'd like to see a little higher percentage of moves like the one he scored on in the first. Now a buck ten to go. As you can see in the right corner of your shot, Ben Bazzali, your senior heavyweight, getting himself in the zone. If Rose is to win here, it's all going to come down to Bazzali for the team title. Bazzali kind of takes a half shot double, gets nothing. 50 seconds to go, still tied at four. Rose in a good single. Bazzelli tries to sprawl, Rose is trying to suck it in and does. Now has it elevated, if he can... Oh my, Bazzelli a hard return to the... I'm sorry, not Bazzelli, Tavanello. Hard return to the mat, Rose needs injury time. His shoulder got banged hard there. And he is in obvious pain. Oh, you hate to see that at the state championship, especially in such a competitive match. Hopefully it's just a stinger, just a bruise, no structural damage. Seeing as I'm working on a law degree and not a medical one, I can't give you any other diagnosis. The Rose is okay, he's got the roar of the center build and probably St. Ed's crowd behind him. 30 seconds to go. Rose has had two real good opportunities in the last two minutes or so. But he needs a third one, otherwise we're headed over. And Rose in on a shot! He elevates. Tavanello is so good on his feet now, he's in a shot of his own. Drags his feet! There's your two! 12 seconds left! Wadsworth may have just won a team title! That may be a team championship as Tavanello drags his feet on the edge for two. Rose tries to sit down reversal. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Wadsworth wins! Wadsworth wins! Tavanello, 215 pound champ! Wadsworth Grizzlies state team champions! Snapping the longest state title streak in Ohio history! and becoming the first public school team to win in two decades. Oh my, oh my, oh my.